Hello and welcome to another video session. Today I'm going to take you through what I'm doing with the horses or the young horses I'm riding and some of the horses that I'm taking for to put some work on. This is Louis. Um, we've got him for just a couple of weeks. He's in the beginning of his second week now. And I'm going to take you through what I've been doing on him for the, for the last 10 days or so. Um, because what I've been doing on him really is sort of the essence of what I do on any horse now about how to get them soft, get them fit, get their feet moving, and starting getting to feel like a, a real horse. And when I say real horse, I mean that it's sort of the horse is with me. You know, his feet are my feet. Where I want him to go, he goes. We, the owner brought him to us because he was heavy. You know, she'd go out on a trial ride or ride him and he'd just get heavy in the hand and just lean and pull and he gets scared very easily. So you add leaning and pulling to scared and it's not a very enjoyable experience. And so now he's a lot softer than he was. So we'll show you a little bit of what he's doing there. And, but really I'm going to take you through the exercises of what I've been doing. And there's nothing different from what you've seen in other stuff, but we're going to put it all together and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So hopefully you'll be able to look at this and start hopefully replicating it on your horses because where he's at the moment is now my new normal. This is where all horse should, horses should be. This is not that great what he's doing. It might seem good to you, but for me, this is just normal. A horse should be here. If you're, if when you watch this and you, you say, well, my horse is not even close, then this is what I want you to be aiming for. And quite quickly, because this is nothing special. This is just where a horse should be. Ground zero. So I've gone through all the normal ground stuff that you've, we've talked through in other videos. But again, one of his biggest problems is, is leaning and, and coming forward all the time. So leaning over his shoulders. So every time he stops, what he does is that he stops and then his weight shifts over the front end like that. He leans forward. So he's always, his balance is always too far forward. So I do the exact opposite. Every time I stop, we stop and we get him to take a step backwards. So he, hopefully he starts preparing to step backwards. So he gets his weight behind his shoulders and he stops more like that as opposed like that. One of the other big things to make sure it's working is your backup. If your horse can't go backwards, good chance he probably won't be stopping either. So this guy, same thing, his backup was terrible. And the more energy I put into him to get him to hustle, to move his feet backwards, the worse he gets, he used to get. And the fact he'd rear on you. So, and, sh and when you'd ride, you're riding him and you'd say, come on now, hustle those feet, either forwards or backwards. He, he, he couldn't or he wouldn't and he'd get all snotty with you and he'd rear and so he was he was going well if you keep pushing me to do something I don't want to I'll rear on you well he's now learnt that rearing doesn't work because we kept doing what I was asking I kept asking for go backwards I kept asking to go forwards and he'd try and rear he reared we kept on asking he learnt that rearing didn't get me to quit it didn't get me to back off and then when he started doing what I, wanted, wanted, what I wanted him to do without rearing, I quit. So he's learning, hopefully, that if you move your feet when I ask, Dave backs off. It's all easy. So release on what you want. So about that, so backwards. We take a hold under their jaw, and you can have your halter, your bridle, hack them all like I've got. doesn't really matter. Now the idea here is that I move my hand, my horse should go backwards. Now... If, he f if your horse feels heavy on your hand, instead of pulling harder, we add some energy in the shoulder. Or back there by your, your girth would be. So like, come on, hustle. Hustle. Get these feet unstuck. And you see how he keeps wanting to, to go forward, particularly when I put some, in, some effort and say, hey, come on, let's go, move those feet. Move those feet. He throws his head and he's looking to push through my hand. So instead of releasing on that and going, oh, silly horse, I just keep doing what I'm doing. I just keep asking him to move. And I think it's critical that you get your horses comfortable about adding energy, you know. If I add a little extra hustle here, like that, I want my horse to be comfortable about hustling, moving his feet. Take that energy and simply accelerate a little bit mate that's all I want because this guy gets tight and when he gets tight then he rears and I don't want that because if I go to cross the road one day or a river or you know something important I don't want him thinking halfway across 
Uh, maybe not. Uh, no, I can't do it. And now we're stuck on the highway or we're stuck on the river because now, you know, I'm saying, come on, we got to go, Louis. There's a truck coming. We got to move these feet. Let's go, my friend. I don't want him having an argument with me at that point in time. So that's what we're working on. When we've got a job to do, when there's something really important, we've got to move our feet. And my body and my leg says, let's go, quick. Let's go, quickly. We've got to move these feet. Don't just have an argument with me. Just move your feet. But learn to get comfortable about that. Learn to be relaxed about that. And this is what I'm releasing on now. If you watch me, yes, I'm releasing, I'm releasing when he hustles. But more importantly, I'm releasing when he's actually relaxing. So he might start hustling those feet and going a little bit quicker. That's good. But now I'm actually waiting until he hustles. No, so you want to push forward? So I'm not going to pull on his head. But I will just throw that rein back behind me and block that forwardness. You're not going to push on my hand, Louis. You're not going to push on my hand. There we go. Now we're going straight. So hustle, hustle, he's not relaxed, he's not relaxed, he's not there, he's relaxed. That's that one stride. So if you release when, you, when you're doing some hustle and your horse is tight, emotional, scared, or thinking about rearing, then you're probably going to make it worse. So if you hang in there for just that extra few strides for that horse to just relax and try and push, and then you release on that one. Well, then your horse is working out that relaxing is the answer. And that's the critical part. Getting the horse to do anything relaxed. Getting him to feel comfortable about taking some extra energy or some extra impulsion there and not get upset about it. Because this is everything. This is jumping. This is working a cow. This is trail riding. This is competition. This is just going for a ride through your paddock and coming across something. Something that your horse goes, what's that? For some reason, he thinks that thing is life-threatening. If my horse feels comfortable about when I say, let's go, I'm not going to ask you to walk up to that scary thing. But I am going to say, hey, you need to move your feet. We'll go around it, mate. But you can't just put on the anchors and turn tail and say, I'm out of here. Your horse is not allowed to do that. 